Right, welcome back to another video. We're doing a quick mukbang. We've got a KFC yeah. Zinger burger and then Gigi's got the boneless banquet. Meet my girlfriend. The day has finally came, right? So me and Gigi's been dating two and a half months. So the other videos that she was in, we weren't like proper official yet. But I put on Instagram like to ask any questions and we will answer it, whether that's about Gigi or both of us, how we met, blah, blah, blah. Right, let's just start with how we met, then I'll go into the questions. So many moons ago, <laughs> Gigi followed me on Instagram. Yeah, it's been many months ago because it's well, two and a half months ago. How long? Um, I Kaz came up on my free page on TikTok. I didn't know who he was. I just thought he was good looking, and yeah. So I followed him on Instagram, and then maybe like five seconds later, he DM'd me. I threatened. I wasn't that quick. It mm? was pretty quick. So I ended up. The, what did I say? How have I not seen you before? And then I was like, you haven't been looking in the right places, babe. And then here we are, mm -hmm. two and a half months later, official. First question is, is it officially girlfriend? Yes, the situation, we're official now. Yes, Kaz asked me to be his girlfriend today with flowers and... Your favourite meal deal. Yeah, and he got really nervous and it was mm. really cute. I'm not a nervous guy at all, but... um. My heart started pounding out. And I was like, I'm saving like a proper cute moment for like the proposal or whatever, right? So I was like, mate, do a little speech, but make it like short, simple, but still cute. I was like, my voice was like crackling. I was, I was like choking on your words. And I, I was nervous, man. Do you mind that Gigi still occasionally drinks even though you're sober? I do not mind at all. I let Gigi go out whenever, but I do feel like I'm a good influence. I don't think it would make a difference, but Going out and drinking and stuff. No. You are good, like, you take me out, you pick me up. Yeah. So I'm like, doesn't so really nah. make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. Um, what's your opinion on the girl bars in your new song? Gigi's not heard it yet. We're filming this before the song is released, by the way. So Gigi's still to hear it. Oh, shit. Yeah. A bone. How did you find working together on the sunglasses? Good little opportunity for us to do stuff together. That was cool, man. If anybody doesn't know, me and Gigi collaborated on my business and we brought out sunglasses. Again, thank you every single person that placed an order and showed yeah. support. If you're new here, please subscribe. We'd massively, massively appreciate it. We've got other launches, other drops coming ASAP, so just stay tuned for that, man. Do you guys want to have kids one day in the future, lol? Yes. Definitely. 100%. I'm not even going to lie. I want kids now, I'm going to be honest. What's your thoughts? Um, By the way, I've got this Zinger burger for KFC, it's unreal. I mean, there's still so much I want to do, like I want to travel. I definitely do want kids and I definitely don't want to be like an old mum. Mm-hmm. It's soon to come. Sweet. Pet peeves about each other. By the way, shout out Connie. Connie's coming with the questions. Yeah. Pet peeves. Oh, I've not really got one. I mean, remember, we're still only two and a half months in to dating. In fact, I tell a lie, my pet peeve is Gigi procrastinating. Is that how you say it? Oh my god. <laughs> it is the worst procrastination I've ever seen in my life, if that's even a word. I'm talking like, it could literally be like, right, Gigi, get up, get showered or whatever. We need to go and get breakfast or we just need to go up and date something. Gigi would literally take 25 minutes just to get up. She'll come with these excuses, oh, but what about if we do this, or, oh, I quickly need to do that, I need to do, no, you don't need to do nothing. <laughs> Get up and let's go, man. So my biggest pet peeve is pre you procrastinating. What's yours? I don't know if I have a pet peeve, you know. It's because, like, I'm so perfect. Wait there, we just need to stop for a thumbnail. You ready? Three, two, one. Were you nervous for your first day? Was I nervous? Nah. Why weren't you nervous? Why? Mm -hmm. I was not nervous because I'm confident. Like, this sounds cocky, right? But I just know how much a genuinely nice person I am. Like, I'm being serious. I could meet, I love meeting people. But were you not nervous thinking this could be my future wife? I wasn't deep in it that much. I did, do pe does anybody deep it that much on the first date? Let's be honest. What's your favourite chocolates? I'm bored of this chocolate caper, man. Let's answer it anyway. Why don't we answer each other's? Ooh, good qu that, that, right. right, your favourite chocolate is Reese's Pieces. 
this is this is not like all time. This is just currently. I change up. I switch up my favorite chocolates like every month or so. So currently, what's mine? Milky bar buttons or orange mm -hmm. yorkies. Yeah, milky bar buttons slap. Orange yorkie, you can get on the meal deal. It's unreal. Has she tried the chocolate cream? I have. We have a TikTok of that on my TikTok. Yeah. So Taste go test. and watch it to see what I think of it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me try that chicken. Oh, that sauce is this. What sauce is that? Garlic mayo. It's the best sauce. I do not like. KFC. I do not like mayo. It's so dramatic. <clears throat> Going back to the pet peeve thing, you are so over dramatic. When? All the time. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. There's a difference between over dramatic and enthusiastic. There was a question as well saying, "What's your plans for the future?" Especially, like obviously together we've got plans, right? But use our subscribers that are watching this. So YouTube plans, we are going to be posting three times a week, the full month of March. So right now is the first of March. So the first of March is a Wednesday. So Wednesday, then Sunday, then it's hopefully going to be Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Exciting news. We're going to just say it here. We said it in the previous video, I think, did we? I don't know. GG. Do you want to announce it? Yeah. So tomorrow, on the 2nd of March, the first episode to my own podcast is coming out on Spotify and YouTube. It's called Gossip with Gigi. Yeah, that's super exciting. Super exciting. You can't wait for that to come out. That's going to be an exciting new project. Adventure. Yeah. Exactly. No, I'm buzzing. By the way, we've just watched the first episode. Gigi just finished editing it there. It looks amazing, man. So everybody... Just uh, keep an eye out for Gigi's podcast. I'll be on an uh, episode ASAP. Do you believe in love at first sight? Um, <clears throat> love at first sight. Yes. Because as soon as I laid eyes on you, I knew you were the one. You're a liar. I know. Um, <laughs> do you know, I don't know. Love at first sight. Is it love or is it like lust? Is that the right word? Because you could like, when I first seen you, I was like, oh my God, she's stunning. Like... It would yeah. be amazing, ah, of course, and I would like it would be amazing, like, do you know what I mean, if this went well and like it led on to new other things, but it wasn't like I was like, I looked at you and goes, she's my forever, that's guaranteed going to happen, do you understand, like you yeah. hope for it, so I don't know, love at first sight, do you believe? I think it's kind of impossible to have love at first sight, because, do you think? yeah, I, I to feel the actual love, I mean you could, you could look at it someday and be like, I know for a fact I'm going to fall in love with you ASAP. Yeah. But you didn't just look at somebody who goes, oh my god, I randomly love you. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. What do you think in the comments? How do you usually spend your weekends? Well, it's mm. currently a Saturday night. It's a Saturday night. <laughs> We're filming a YouTube video for you guys and eating a KFC. This so. is how we spend our weekends. Yeah. And we usually clean the flat at the weekend. Yeah. We'll spare a day to clean the flat, do the washing. Boring stuff. Yeah, just boring stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of your biggest turn ons and turn offs? Ooh, okay, getting juicy now. Uh, my biggest turn off, I don't know, probably just the procrastination. I've not really got a turn off. You do not turn me off at all. But it would just have to be like a pet peeve, would be the procrastination. And then my biggest turn on is probably. I'm going to keep it PG, by the way, because we're on YouTube and like I don't know who's watching. It. But <clears throat> let me reword it. What I find most attractive is see when Gigi's like just come out the shower and she doesn't really dry her hair, she doesn't straighten it or not. She's got like these. You can slightly see it. No, you can't see it at all. She's got like these natural curls. Like she's naturally really curly, but she always blow dries and like straightens her hair so she can hardly see it. But let me get a quick photo. No. no, come on, please. It's beautiful, I swear. Look how beautiful. Can you see it? You can hardly see it, but her natural curls, like coming down here, so attractive. It pop makes your eyes pop because Jesus got beautiful, beautiful blue eyes. No. And everything just pops when you've got your curls out. What do you like most and least about living with each other? After one month of dating, I moved in. Yep. And we live together after one month. Right, the thing I like most about living with you is the fact I get to wake up every morning to you 
and I could put my head down at night knowing I'm with you. You're banging out all the cute answers. No, it's just the truth. Bad. I'm just a, I'm just a nice guy. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, and then the the worst thing, living with you, is the mess. The mess is. I'm not even extreme. messy. Extreme. Yeah, guys, I'm not even messy. No, you are. You are messy. I'm no, talking. I'm not. Walking into her wardrobe, which is the spare room, by the way, a whole room is a wardrobe. She's got like four wardrobes. Filled, to the point you can't even push over a coat or a pair of trousers to squeeze something else in. It's that compressed. <laughs> and then she's got like three sets of drawers filled up. And then she's got like six bags. Like I'm talking massive bags full and corners of the room filled in clothes. It's a mess. That's the worst is your mess. Every time we clean up, it's my idea. Wake up, right. We're free for a few hours at this time, let's clean the flat, let's blast it, Hoover, like everything. Okay. It's always my the idea. The thing I like least... No, I started with, with the good. Well, I'll end on a positive All right, note. right, right, cool. The thing I like least about living with you is you're just such a wimp when it comes to cleaning. You won't do the dishes, you won't hang the washing up. If he tries to put a washing on, he somehow manages to fluff it up. Scared to hoover, scared to clean anything. Sorry, who was the last person to hoover the whole flat? Me. I, I grew up with dishwashers. By the way, I don't mind cleaning the dishes now because I've actually invested and upgraded our kitchen with one of those handles that's filled up with a fairy liquid, then the sponge at the bottom, just the fairy Where liquid comes you... out, and then you just have to put the tap on, wet the dish, and then scrub it with that. I and... have to put the tap on and scrub the dish with it. I bought the tool. Before that was bought by me, she never had that, right? So you actually had to fill the sink up and there was like food, every you'd go in the sink, you'd go in the water looking for the fork and you'd have to like crawl through bits of pizza and <laughs> pass. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it was never like that. It's no disgusting, but you know what I mean, man? Like dishes are disgusting. Um, my favorite thing about living with you is probably all the food. You <laughs> I'm like so the good, the best thing about me living here is because I provide the food every no. day for us both. No. Huh? No. My favourite thing about living with you is. Is what? Is you playing with Tink. I have a dog called Tinker Bell. She's Tink a last app, so and Kaz plays with her, and it's very, very heartwarming. It's lovely. Oh well, I had the best answers again. Where do you guys see yourselves in five years? Five years as a couple? Yeah. As a couple. Within five years my answer is at least one kid, hopefully two, and engaged. With a wedding planned. Like and that. still on YouTube, allowing everybody to see your journey. Watching our kids grow up watching us be stressed about the wedding, vlog the wedding. Yeah. That'd be sick. What's your answer? Um, probably the same. I want us to have travelled to loads of places, made loads of really good memories, been to loads of different countries, and yeah, definitely be engaged. If we're together for longer than like four years and you don't put a ring on it, then sayonara. What's that? Goodbye. In what language? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, um, there will be more coming by the way. We're going to upload again on Sunday because we've got Gigi's podcast tomorrow dropping. Well, no we. Gigi's got her podcast dropping tomorrow. So we're yeah. going to be uploading again on Sunday, which is only a few days away. Make sure to subscribe, like this comment, like this comment? <laughs> like this video. <laughs> subscribe, comment, like the video and put in the comments ideas what you want to see because we've got a notes we've got a notes on our phone with loads of youtube ideas and we're like slowly ticking them all off and we want th we want that notes to be like 20 videos long at all times so put in the comments any ideas and we'll get them uploaded yeah all good yeah sweet bye see you soon